In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the engraver. Now, if I go to page 2 here, you'll see I've typed in some text, drawn out a uh, circle and an arrow here. And I want to apply an engraving fill on the inside of this, these examples here, this, these objects. So to do that, I can draw out a selection box like that, and I can select all the items. Now, to get these into the engraving module, I come out to my Fill Styles flyout here, left click on that, and I can come down, and I can click on Engrave Fill here. So if I click on that, my engraving module is loaded as we can see, and it's just got a default fill style applied engraving fill as you can see there. Now, we have some tool settings over here, we can set our tool diameter here, and we can set some offsets here. Now I'll come back and explain these offsets in a minute. Up here we've got some zoom tools, so we can zoom in and out, and we can also use our scroll wheel mouse like this, as you can see. And we can see what's happening here with this engraving fill. At the moment it's an S sweep, I can set that to line fill under the fill type here, as you can see, or I can set that to say an island fill. And you can see what's happening here, how it's uh, using an island fill for the uh, tool path here. So if I come back to S sweep, I can also set things like the fill direction, so here it's diagonal up, here it's vertical, and here it's diagonal down, as you can see there. So I can set all these settings here. If I want to cut around the edge of my artwork here, I can click on Cut Original. I'll just zoom in to make the point here. And if I want to cut up to here, but I don't want to cut my outside edge or the shape that I've actually created here, I can turn that off, and I can check Clean Up Flange. And I'll just zoom in a bit more. As the tool path comes, or the tool comes in here and cuts this, it will leave uh, some odds and ends behind, and the clean-up flange will come in at the end and just uh, cut it along these, this line here around the edge and clean all this up for us. So that's what the clean-up flange does. And if we set some of our offsets here, we can actually make the tool, based on its diameter, cut right to the very edge of our, of our artwork. So we've got these options here. If I set my tool diameter to, say, quarter of an in, uh, an eighth of an inch, you can see what's happening here. Okay, so once we're happy with what we've got, what we can do now is just zoom to all like that, have a look at it. Yes, we're happy. Um, actually, what we might do, I'll just make this point, we might want to um, make it a bit finer so that it's, it's a very smooth cut. So what we'll do is we'll set our fill offset to, say, 25%, and you can see that it's a much tighter fill. So it'll, it'll come back on itself and, and make it a very smooth engrave. So we're happy with that. We click Accept. As we can see in here, it's been applied, and we've got our uh, our engraving fill applied to our objects here. Now we've got some options about what we can do with this. We can come up to the File menu here, go Export as a vector, and we can send this off as a DXF file to our engraving machine. The other thing we can do is we can send all of this to the Cut File Manager up here, and we can actually set this up to then go to the Vinyl Spooler, and then we can send it to our engraving machine or our routing machine or whatever we've got, whatever device we want to engrave or route this out with. So we've got some options about what we can do with our artwork. Now, the other thing you might want to do is actually engrave to the outside of your objects. So what we can do if I undo this, to do that is quite easy. All we do is we draw out a um, an object behind, and so and I'll send that to the back. So we've got an outer object that we're going to actually fill, and by filling this object we're not going to fill these objects. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I grab all of that. I come back to my fill styles, come back to my engrave fill, and I click on that. And you can see what's happening here. I'll just make the tool diameter a bit bit bigger, say a quarter of an inch. And you can see what's happening. It's actually going to engrave around our objects and fill this outer outer object. And that way I, I can engrave or reverse engrave, as you can see here. So once I'm happy with that, I can click Accept. So you can see what's happened here. And again, I can either export this as a DXF or cut it out using my machine. Now, about the uh, the offsets that I was talking about before, this diagram here, I'll just zoom into it, is in the help in the manual. And this explains to you how the offsets work. And it's quite simple. In the uh, example I just did, we actually adjusted the fill offset. I made it a lot tighter so I get a smooth sort of effect. So that's how we do that there. Here's our uh, cleanup flange and our tool. So if we set our flange offset to 50%, we can actually set it to cut right to the very edge of our artwork, as you can see here in this example. And we can set our hatch offset. This is where our, uh, our toolpath actually ends as a percentage next to the artwork there, so you can offset it by the percentage of the actual tool. This is explained in the manual and it's quite easy to use. 
So that's how we use the engraver and where, where you use or where you find it and how you uh, send artwork to it. And that's the end of this lesson.